everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and today I'm sharing some more 3x3 cards. Um, last week I posted some 3x3 cards on my blog, so if you don't check out my blog, um, go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com because I post things that I don't put on YouTube. So if you want any extra projects, they are on my blog. So anyway, this is my Four Seasons 3x3 cards. I love this. I love this set. And you know how I love 3x3s. And I'm on a roll with 3x3s here this week. I've been doing quite a few. And this is the Colorful Season stamp set. I didn't use the stamp set at all. But look how amazing this stamp set is. It's got all the seasons on here. And it also has this little Adirondack chair that's in the framelit. So it coordinates with the seasonal layers layers thinlets so these are the thinlets here so look at all the thinlets you get in this set and then you get this really pretty scallop too this branch you get the leaves the snowflakes the little adirondack chair some flowers some smaller leaves and snowflakes and these are some other flowers right there too so it is a good size set there are 17 in here and I'm basically just using the framelits for this so I'm also using the color theory designer series paper you've seen me use this before I've made bookmarks and little other three by three cards with this this time I'm using this shaded or ombre looking um, sheet so I love that paper too and when I first saw it I wasn't really thrilled with it boy I got it in my hands and that's uh, it's one of the ones I grabbed first so this does come in a bundle and you do save 10% if you buy the stamp set and the framelits. But look how adorable these cards are so bright and cheery and they are going to be a gift for someone. And I haven't made the box or bag that I'm going to use for it yet, but I may do that and I may post it this weekend. Um, and share that with you, the packaging that I'm going to send it in. So these are what we're going to make today. So let's get started. Okay, I'm just going to set these aside. And I've already pre-cut everything because if you watched me do it all, it would take forever to do the video. It's really all the pieces that I cut for this, um, all these little ones that are on the front I ran through the big shot all at one time so I ran these flowers this chair the snowflake and the leaf all at the same time so um, also use your precision platform or um, use your die brush to get the little pieces out because they are very intricate so I have four card bases with the thick whisper white so these are six by three and then you score it at three and I'm not going to fold them yet because we're going to put it all together first. These little are um, the color theory, which are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then the next layer I'm using are stitch square framelits. So this, they're the stitch shapes, but they come in the circles, ovals, and square in all one set. And I'm using the second from the largest one. And I cut four of those. I love the stitching on these and then I cut four different pieces and all of the coordinating cardstock for this and so it's dapper denim berry burst crush curry and old olive and I am going to banner them all just like this they are one inch by two and three quarter inches and then of course all my little framelits that I used and I had a little extra one of the smaller ones, so we're going this one we're going to use one big one and two of the smaller ones. So that is all that we're going to need for this, except for your adhesive. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to go ahead first and banner all these edges. And I just did these by hand because they are small and it e it's really easy to do. So if you haven't bannered like this, I do have the banner punch, but it's not really handy right now so I'm just gonna banner it myself so the easiest way I do it is I find the center and then I just cut from the corner to the center 
so it makes an even banner. And then this one the same. Okay, so we have all our banner pieces right there. So let's get our card base here and let's get started with them. Okay, we'll just do one at a time here. Let me get these all apart, make sure I have them all. Yeah, I do. Okay, so we are going to first layer the mat piece here. onto each one of these. We're going to do it assembly line style. <laughs> I am layering them all with the darker on the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but I thought I'd be really consistent with that. <laughs> This paper is so pretty. I just, when I first saw it in the catalog, it doesn't do it justice. It has so much textures and different colors and the ombre and so pretty. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put our banners on. And then just put that in the center. denim crushed curry and a berry burst so many pretty colors and then we're going to add our stitch square to each one once you get all the pieces it's so easy to put together and these pieces run through really quick I did have to do the stitch square separately but it went really fast This is our last one and then we're going to put the pretty part on and you can use your Tombow for this I'm just using my snail because it stays pretty well with that so this one gets the chair this is so adorable this little chair And we'll fold that and then this one gets the snowflake snowflake is a little bit harder because it does have a lot of holes in it and then this one is our leaf You can also use your thin tipped glue, but for this video, I just wanted to show you how to get and put them together really quickly. So if I was really doing that, I would use my fine tip glue or my Tombow. Ah, okay, get out of there. And then this one. should I do that one I think I should have moved this one over a little bit that's one good thing about using your snail and I have a little tiny bit of glue I'm going to use my little adhesive remover there and 
and it's gone. And that's it. Aren't those really cute? I just love these. They're so bright and cheery. And I thought this would be perfect as a little gift for someone. Um, I love giving 3 by 3 card sets for gifts. I always package them, either wrap a really pretty ribbon around them, or um, a lot of times I just make boxes for them or some kind of bag to put them in and just make them ba the bag and or box really pretty. So that's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.